Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Bethany. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Long time no see. I know. So I hear that you're partnered up with Amita Breast Pumps, and you're working on their new campaign, I Breastfeed Because. So my first question is, are you currently breastfeeding? I am currently breastfeeding. So I breastfeed because <laughs> I, I'm, I'm in love with the whole entire thing. It's been such a great experience, just that time alone with Bryn and the connection, and it's just a peaceful time. And I really didn't know very much about breastfeeding, or, or when I mean nothing very little. I knew nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So it's been a really great experience. It's definitely the healthiest way to go. And I just, I got involved with, uh, with Amita and iRescue because, because I just feel like a lot of people don't talk about it. I feel like it's something that is in hushed tones. And I've been vocal about it because I think it's a beautiful thing and I think it's mm -hmm. something that people should know more about so they're not intimidated and overwhelmed and feel like they're alone in the process. How long do you plan on breastfeeding for? It's now been three months, and okay. it's winding down a little bit because of my schedule, because of getting Bryn on a schedule, and it's definitely, I'm definitely sentimental about it. I'm still, go, I'm still doing it. It's one of those things that now I, I pump a lot, and then I do, I breastfeed her on, on my own, maybe in the morning or in the afternoon. You know, I, I, but I don't even know if it's for her or for me anymore. It was for the first three months it's for her, but mm -hmm. now it's like I just don't want to stop because I just, I love the, the bond. So what would you, how would you describe this bond? What is it, the emotion that it's creating for you? It's just beautiful. I mean, that's what Jason said the first time I did it in the hospital. He was like, it's really beautiful. It's just a beautiful thing, I guess, to, for mother and daughter or mother and mm -hmm. child to, to be together. And it's something that only you can give your child. So uh -huh. I think that that's something unique, and people are always grabbing at the baby and let me feed her, let me feed her, and you have to burp her every every couple of minutes. And breastfeeding is just way more easy in that <laughs> regard. It's just the baby's on, and they they're on until they don't want to be anymore, and it's not as you know burpy yeah. and all that. It's just it's a really nice thing, I have to say. I, I I can't imagine anyone not wanting to experience it. Um, now you did say that you are using a breast pump. How often a day are you using the breast pump? I have I've had times where I've been breast where I've been pumping three times a day and mm -hmm. I have times where I do it one time a day depending upon how much you're actually breastfeeding and okay, you could you let it go a little longer and then you'll have more milk or you could do it more often you know it it also helps you to produce more milk oh it does help you to produce more milk Are you asking yes it simulates so the thing is that the thing that produces more milk is when the baby's on you it's uh -huh. not like you just have milk if you don't do it the milk will go away so the pump simulates what the baby does, so that's mm -hmm. what keeps the milk coming in. Okay. Now, are you freezing the milk? I, d I am freezing the milk. And are you using baggies or bottles to freeze it? I, or use, the, I use Ziploc bags. I am obsessed with Ziploc bags for all things in mm -hmm. life, but particularly for breast milk. And also you were saying that Jason found it beautiful that you are breastfeeding. Is it um, the breast pump helping him to be a part of the breastfeeding process, the feeding process? It's Yeah, Jason is the, he's the, he's the one who prepares the breast pump, brings it in to me, sometimes packs it. Oh, yeah, really? it's, a, it's, a, it's a whole family activity, breastfeeding. Oh, that's it's fun nice. for the whole family. <laughs> now, are you using any formulas with Bryn? We do supplement with formula. Uh, now towards the end a little more um just because i'm so crazy busy that mm -hmm. and i also don't want it to be something that i think people are very uh extreme about and i feel like more people will enjoy and get through the whole breastfeeding process if they're not so maniacal and it doesn't always have to be an all or nothing thing so what are the perks and what are the benefits of using a breast pump and breastfeeding yourself versus using formula Oh, the, the, the benefits of using a pump are that if you don't have the time, if you have a busy schedule, you can mm -hmm. take the pump with you and it's got this great little cooler and a bag to make it stylish and, and I like organization and so it's very functional and organizational. And also some people don't, aren't comfortable with a baby being on them. It's got to work for you. So the pump gives you the option. Some people don't ever put the baby on their breast and just pump the entire time. That's actually one of my questions. Is that something you're taking more personally? Are you doing that behind closed doors, or are you more open and more liberal about it with breastfeeding? Well, you can always bring breast milk with you because you've pumped, you know, so you don't really, I haven't found that there's been a need that I have to be out in public putting the baby on my breast. Um, yeah. It's definitely been something I've been more private about, 
more more so because of like I said, it's got that intimate bond. So I like to be in my. It's a ritual. I like to be in the room, my bedroom, alone with Brandon. It's quiet and there's yeah, no TV it's on. It's just time. it's a moment. Yes. And I also know that you're very good about your nutrition. We've talked about this before. What types of foods are you eating right now that provide nutrients for your milk? Um, I pretty much just eat a well balanced diet with mm -hmm. indulgences. I mean, I always eat salads and vegetables and pasta. I eat everything. I mean, it's not like I'm on any kind of special breastfeeding diet. I don't think anything should be extreme about it. I mean, you're not I, eating any special foods that give special nutrients for the baby. No, I mean, I was take I was still taking prenatal vitamins, which I'm sometimes oh, okay. I'm sometimes slack off. In fact, I haven't taken mine today and in the beginning I drank dark beer because people told me it helped provide breast milk and oatmeal and you know, resting and not being a complete raving lunatic helps helps with breastfeeding. But you do the best you can with all of this. That's what the, that's why they make products like this, just to help life be a little easier. Yeah, I agree. Um, now I know this is a little dress. It's more about um, motherhood in general. I spoke with the DC Housewives last week, Stacey Scott Turner and Mary Schmidt Amons, and they said that you are the one housewife out of all the series that they would love to be like. They love how you balance your motherhood, your family, and your work. What advice do you have to them to balancing their family life along with their new careers? Uh, not to take themselves too seriously, mm -hmm. because none of this is that serious. To uh, mm -hmm. Be true to themselves and not to manufacture who they really who they want to be on the show, and mm -hmm. that it's not fool's gold. That you don't get on television and automatically be rich and famous and successful. That you have to have something to back it up. Are there any tips you can give to them about introducing their kids to this type of um, this type of lifestyle? I would say keep your kids out of it as much as possible. I just I mean look what happened with one of the Jersey. I heard. I haven't really been watching, but I heard one of the Jersey daughters is in some fight with one of the housewives. And I don't know what's going on in Jersey. I don't she, watch she Jersey. I only watch you guys. Something. Yeah. You know, I only like New York. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, anyway, one of the daughters got involved in some rift with one of the housewives, and now she had to go to court and could have a record. I mean, it's just like it's a little crazy. You got to be an adult and know how, how to deal with it. And my last question about that subject is just how do you feel about them saying that you're their role model, their housewife role model? Um. I think it's really nice that the D.C. housewives say that I'm a housewife role model. That's no, they really all said that about you. Well, the ones I spoke to. Oh, that's so nice. flattering. That's yeah. so nice. I really, I like, I really appreciate that. No, they just thought you were so well-rounded with all the different things you brought together, and they're really excited about your new show and stuff like that. Um, so back to Bryn. How many hours a night is she sleeping now? Bryn sleeps six hours maximum, so I'd say between four and six. Okay. And are you singing to her before she goes to bed? I sing to her all the time. I sing Diapers on the Ground, which is my version of Pants on the Ground. <laughs> um, I read her stories. I don't know if I'm reading them for me or for whoever, but I read her stories, and I sing all the time. What books are you reading to her this week? Uh, Pat the Bunny. There's one, I think it was called My Little Princess. Uh, Good Night Moon, I think it's called. I just take a different one off the shelf every day, and some of them are, oh, I thought my phone was off. Some of them aren't. Um, some of them aren't so, so great. One of them is about like my baby wears black and drinks lattes, so I mm -hmm. sent that one away. There are some weird ones, but there are some really cute ones. I like the ones that are giggly and pink and cute and say buttercup yes, and cupcakes. Yes. I mean, I've become so nauseating. <laughs> but I like all those. Um, now, as she's getting older, are there any safety precautions that you're setting up around your house to help protect her? I mean, there are precautions now about not putting other things in the crib and not hanging things over the side of the crib and the way that you give the bath. But mm -hmm. I think next year will be the whole, like, revamp. Jason smashed my coffee table with a golf club, which was mirror. So that was oh my a gosh. happy accident anyway because now we have to get rid of that and we need right. something soft with no corners. Mm -hmm. We have a glass dining room table. That will be out the window, not literally because we smashed somebody in the head. But that will be out the window. I'm sure there's going to be a whole rehauling of the house. Yes. And my last question for you is, you're very confident with your body, and of course you've been put around um, all the media tabloids and all of the industry for your beautiful body. Um, I don't know if you ever were aware that Tori Spelling hung pictures of herself while she was pregnant around her house. How Would you ever consider doing that um, yourself, and how do you feel Wait, about that why situation? did Tori Spelling hang pictures of herself around her house? Her house she, she, it was while she was pregnant. She had pregnant pictures, pictures? Pregnant pictures while she was, yeah, pregnant. <laughs> she hung the, them in her why did she do that? Uh, it was just her artistic 
Moto? Oh, I have one picture of me while I was pregnant. I didn't hang them all over my house. I don't really. But, I have pictures of my family and 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 Bryn and Cookie and all that. But yeah, I mean. Yeah. No, but hers. She wasn't wearing any clothes. That's what I was asking. Like she's um, showing off her belly. I'm not. Yeah, I have one picture, but I did it more for Jason. I'm oh, okay. not real. I have no noise. I mean, I have no noise about my body. I did that in my 20s. Like, I don't think about I feel like I'm not thinking about it positively, negatively. I don't really think about it all that much. Otherwise, I'd be exercising a lot right now, and I'm not. I'm not really. That's what's so crazy about losing all the weight that I, I that's why I lost the weight, because I didn't obsess about it at all. I know. I've, I've spoken with you about the weight, and you've done a great job, and you were just naturally tiny anyway. I mean, Thank you. Yeah, you well, were always years naturally. ago, I used to not be, but that's what my whole book Naturally well, yeah, no, I know that. I know you've been very good about that. And I know that we're running short on time, so yeah. I just wanted to say thank you so much. Thank and you I look so forward much. to seeing you again. Thank you.